Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Programming Knowledge. This is the second video of a five-part video series of how to create user registration form using PHP. So in the previous tutorial, we have laid out the basic structure of our project. So we have already implemented the form of or the basic form of our user registration. So as promised in the first video, we will continue working on with the implementation of the PHP code behind user registration. So before doing that, we need to uh, step back and reflect on our design of the user registration page. So as you can see, we have the the very basic looks of our user registration page. And we want to improve this. So in order for us to improve the looks of this registration page, we need the powers of the bootstrap library so all we have to do now is download the components or the css files or the js files included in the bootstrap so let's go ahead and type in google and bootstrap so we have here the first link to bootstrap site so let's just click on this and uh, click on this download button so we have a few options here we could uh, just include the compiled CSS and JS into our files we could download the source files we could uh, actually use the CDN of our bootstrap but for the purpose of this tutorial we'll be using or we'll be downloading the files directly for this compiled CSS and JS. So download and then save force. Okay, so once the file has been downloaded, we just need to locate the files in our system and include or include the necessary files such as the CSS and the JS files into our project. So I have here the downloaded file which is bootstrap. In my case, this is version 4.3.1. So all we need is to uh, extract the file and copy the CSS and JS file or JS files inside this bootstrap dist folder and paste the CSS and JS files into the project that we have created earlier and make sure it is located side by side with our defined files which is the config index.php and registration.php okay so once we have that we just need to open up our registration.php to actually include the css files from bootstrap so open up registration.php and inside the head tag of our html let's include the css coming from the css folder here in our project Okay, so link with a type of star text or CSS and then for the reference we need to uh, type in CSS slash and we're going to use the minified version of the bootstrap CSS. So let's just use this uh, bootstrap.min.css. So bootstrap that mean that CSS okay and let's try the or let's try to reload our page before that make sure that you have saved the registration that PHP and let's go to our browser and refresh our page so as you can see we know that the CSS is working because the layout of our page changed which corresponds to the styles that have been set in the CSS file. So we just need to add few classes to the markup for this inputs. So the inputs for first name, last name, and also we want to change the, or we want to add some classes to the sign up button so it would look like a professional button. So all we have to do now is go back to our PHP registration that PHP code and 
inside this div with the class container let's define a new div which has a class of row so div then row and make sure that we close this div to this point okay next let's create a new column which also uses the markup div and make sure that we close this div right here so let's uh, indent our code so it would be readable okay so let's add a class to this division which is class call sm3 so this class is specific for bootstrap so if you want to know more about bootstrap you can browse to their documentation and uh, study the different columns configuration or the grid configuration of bootstrap so let us continue let's add a class to this input which is form control and let, let us just copy this one so paste this to add their inputs last name email uh, phone number and also with the password and save the registration.php and try to preview our page open up the browser and reload the page or registration page so as you can see the layout and the looks of our registration form is much better than what we have previously but we're not done yet with our styling perhaps we need to add a space here between the first name and the fill up form with the correct values and also with our button in the last input for password and of course we want to add the uh, class for our button so let's go back to our registration that PHP so after the paragraph fill up the form with correct va uh, values let's add a horizontal rule for this and with the class MB dash 3 okay and let's just copy this one for this uh, space between password and the button save the file and open up the browser refresh so we have here the spaces between first name and fill up and of course the password and sign up and last but not the least is for the sign up button so go back to our registration.php again and add class to this button which is class btn and let's set this btn into primary save registration.php and go back to browser and refresh there you have it it's not a word class form per se but it is much much better than what we have before so i think that's it for our styling and let's go back to our php code and implement the logic for our user registration okay so previously we have started the logic which is to check if the post create is set and echo that the user has submitted the form so now let's get the values coming from this form which is uh, so for example the first name and using the post variable and supply the first name which is the name of our input field and of course we want to use this to implement other fields which is this one for our last name and email phone number and also the password okay let's make our code readable by uh, indenting it in one line
Okay, so we have all the necessary fields or the fields coming from our form. So now let's try to display all the values once the user has submitted the form. So echo first name and then the last name. Let's just copy the the first one. Email, phone number, and password. So, last name or email, and then phone number and password. Okay, and of course, semicolon at the end of the line. Save our registration that PHP and go back to our browser. Refresh, and let's try to put some values here. For email test at test.com phone number doesn't matter for now and password and click on sign up okay so we have here the values and it has successfully displayed the values coming from this form so I think that's it for this tutorial and in the next video we'll try to work with the config.php thanks